Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to this next lesson, our deep programming series. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to get set up on Windows with a deep programming language. I'll show you how to do it on the command prompt and also on Visual Studio using the really cool Visual D programming plugin. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and get started here with the deep programming language. The first thing I want to do is just take you to the DWeb page. And you're probably going to notice that it'll recognize what operating system you have so you can download the Windows installer directly from there. Let's go ahead to the downloads page just to see the different options that we have. Now notice that there's many different compilers for the D programming language. And that's actually a really good thing and I think shows a healthy language. So the DMD compiler is a primary one. It's the official reference compiler. And that's one that sort of gets updated with the language updates as it evolves. So it's usually the latest D version as far as the language features go. And it's very easy to install and that's what we're gonna start with. But there are some other options. So if you're used to using GCC compilers, you might want to go with GDC and install this one here. Now the good news is the D language is installed with GCC since version 9, about 9.1. So later versions should have the D language or an option to install it with regular GCC installation. So you might need to wander into MinGW or such for Windows install, but that's an option. Then LDC is an LLVM based compiler if you're used to that infrastructure. Again, both of these frameworks have especially strong optimizations that you can take advantage of from their bytecode representations. The LDC also has some Android examples too, which are nice, so you can go ahead and play around with those. Go ahead and click this link to see how to get set up there. But what I wanna go ahead and do is just get a setup with DMD here. So let's go ahead to the download and just run through the installer and see what we get. So this will just take a moment or two to install, and we'll just see that we have D version 2.1000.0 here available. So I'm just going to go ahead and walk through the different process here. And let's go ahead and see this. I trust it. I've installed D many times here. So let's go ahead and let Windows do its thing here and get us started here. Now, there's a couple extras that we can install here. And you'll notice that there's Visual D here. And that's a Visual Studio package that gives us some integration with the Visual Studio. I'm going to go ahead and do that in a separate step here. I just want to go ahead and show you how to get started with D here. So let's go ahead and get the install going. Go ahead and show the details of all the different tools and components that are installed here. And again, that's one of the advantages of the DMD compiler and why I'm showing you this versus, say, LDC or GDC. Maybe in the future I'll do a video, but the basic idea is DMD has in the compiler some other tools like code coverage and profiling built into it. Now, of course, GCC and LDC have some of these features as well, and there's many different external tools available for those things. All right, so with that said, though, let's go ahead and continue with our D installation here. And I'll just go ahead and hit finish here. And now let's just go ahead and hit the Windows key, open up a command prompt. Let's see if D was installed here by just typing out DMD. Go ahead and hit enter, and we can see that we have some code here. So we're going to go on to test this out with maybe a Hello World program, but I just want to go ahead and scroll to the top and verify that, yes, indeed, we have version 2.1. Uh, 0, 0, 0 here available. So the next step is to go ahead and open up a text editor. Let's just open up good old notepad here and give ourselves a little test here to see if things are working. We'll go ahead and just write a simple D program here, importing the standard library. We have a main function, which is our entry point, and we'll write out a line here, hello, Windows, something like that, and close this off with a semicolon. Now let's go ahead and save this file somewhere where we'll be able to open it up again in a uh, command prompt. And I'm just going to go ahead and name this hello.d. I've already written this before, so let's just replace it for the sake of this tutorial. Let's open up our command prompt, and then let's go ahead and navigate our way into that location here. So cd into users, your username, and eventually downloads. And we'll go ahead and run the DMD compiler here. So the file name that we need to pass in, of, and then by default, we usually do the .exe extension on Windows. And now we can go ahead and try to run this Hello World program here. Now, if you're coming from a Unix system, you might be familiar with the dot .slash, but in Windows, we can just go ahead and type prog.exe, and we'll go ahead and disable our security there for a second, because we trust this program, and we'll get our Hello Windows message here. Now, you might have different text editors that you want to use. Probably Visual Studio Code or something is ideal. But one of the best 
editors and one of the reasons why I honestly keep my Windows machine for development is for Visual Studio. So I want to go ahead and close this out and now show you in the second part how to install Visual D, which is an extension for programming in D in Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and click on Visual D here and download the Visual D plugin here. You're going to notice this comes with the DMD compiler and also the LDC one here, which is really great. And you'll notice that it keeps up to date with some of the latest DMD compilers and LDC as well. So let's go ahead and download that and get ready for setup here. So I'll go ahead and click on this plugin. And again, if you're on Windows, this is probably the way that I recommend using D. You can also check out my Linux setup video if you want, and then you'll see how to perhaps set up a D programming language in Ubuntu, which you can use here. So let's go ahead and trust this and let it install here. I'll walk through here, and it's already detected some of the installs that I have here. I have Visual Studio 2019, but again, you can see it's kept up to date here. And let's just give this a few moments to install. Go ahead and choose somewhere where you'd like to install that's a reasonable location. I'm just going to install it in my C drive. And when setup's finished, go ahead and click finish. And let's go ahead and find Visual Studio 2019 now. Go ahead and launch it and give it a moment to set up. And now let's go ahead and create a new project. And now you'll see that we have a bunch of different default projects that we can create here. We can go ahead and scroll through these and see what uh, Visual Studio is set up for us. But what we want to do is try to find the Visual D uh, project here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll through my list here. And you'll see towards the bottom, since this is the latest thing that I've installed here, we can do a Windows-based application. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this Visual D-based Windows application. Let's go ahead and hit Next. Go ahead and keep the defaults. And for this one, I just want to use a console application. But again, you can see that there's different compilers that we can install. And based on what we have set up here, meaning LDC or DMD, we can choose. Again, if we want to build different libraries or windowed applications, we can go ahead and do those options. If that's something you'd like to see in the future, please comment below and I'll maybe take a look at a Windows application. But let's just test our, inspl our installation for now. So here, just navigating Visual Studio, you'll notice we have our Windows app. And then again, the files with the .d extensions are for, again, our D programs. So go ahead and double click this. And you can see we have something pretty similar to our little hello world here. So we can go ahead and start this D application by just clicking start here. And you notice that it'll build and it'll run pretty fast here. You'll see all the different outputs here as normal in our debug thing. But you probably didn't see the output there. So let's go ahead and see if we can slow our program down just a little bit here. Now, one of the things that I like about the Visual D plugin is I can use Visual Studio here. So I can actually just insert a breakpoint here, start our application here, and we can see that it's actually paused here. Then if I look at my application here, my window here, we can actually see the Hello D world here. So that's it. And if you're familiar with Visual Studio, you'll be able to use a lot of the features that you're familiar with, all the diagnostic tools and all the debugging tools that come with it. It integrates really, really nicely. So. With that said, hopefully you enjoyed that and you're ready to get started programming in D on the command line or within Visual Studio. Alrighty folks, I hope you were able to follow those steps and get set up on Windows and you're now ready to program on the D programming language. And as always, if you had any trouble, make sure to comment below and we can try to resolve some of those issues. Give it a like if this helped you get set up and otherwise make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future lessons in the D programming language series.